time to check in with Alan Lay, who has the inside scoop on all things Steamboat. So let's go ahead and give him the floor. Thanks and good morning to you, Brittany. It's not too late to grab your tickets to Steamboat October West, which makes its return to the Steamboat Square on Saturday, September 16th. Head on down to the Steamboat Resort from 2 to 6 p.m. You can get your tickets online at SteamboatOctoberWest.com or at the event, but if you plan to partake in the tastings, you must be 21 or older with proof of ID. Steamboat October West is a paid sponsor of Mountain Mornings. Join in the fun for all things aviation and celebrate the Steamboat Springs Airport during the Regional and Vintage Aircraft Fly-In and Airport Appreciation Day on Sunday, September 17th from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. The event is wheels up with an early morning home-cooked breakfast from the Lions Club from 8 to 11 a.m. The menu jets into the afternoon when spectators can enjoy lunch and ice cream from the Civil Air Patrol with proceeds benefiting the cadet scholarships. Static displays and interactive booths are planned throughout the day, and the flight simulator will showcase all it has to offer during a demonstration starting at noon. A special pilot wing seminar by Nelson Wolfmeyer, FAA Safety Team Program Manager for the Northwest Mountain Region, will share insights during a presentation at 1 p.m. for pilots on controlled flight info terrain. Steamboat Springs will host a public open house on Wednesday, September 20th to review final plans for the proposed improvements to the Downhill Drive US-40 intersection. The open house is an opportunity for those in surrounding neighborhoods or across the community with an interest in the project to meet with staff and design engineers to review the plans and ask questions. The event will take place on Wednesday, September 20th from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. at the Community Center, 1605 Lincoln Avenue. Plans are currently available on Engage Steamboat for review and feedback can be provided in person during the open house or in, via the form on in, the Engage site. City and Colorado Department of Transportation staff will be available to explain the design, answer questions, and provide specifics on the plan. Registration for the 2024 Steamboat Marathon is now open. Check out the 2024 pricing at SteamboatChamber.com and start making plans to run in the Rockies in 2024. Early pricing runs now through the end of 2023, with the regular pricing taking effect on January 1st and late options beginning in April. On-site registration, if there's room, will be May 31st and June 1st, 2024, but that's your final chance. Don't delay and sign up now for the 2024 Steamboat Marathon. Stop Alzheimer's Now has partnered with the Steamboat Springs Pickleball Association for an inaugural Steamboat Pickleball Tournament. It's scheduled September 23rd and 24th at the Steamboat Tennis and Pickleball Center with an expected 250-plus pickleball players coming from all over Colorado playing together in a friendly competition. 100% of the player registrations will go to the benefit Stop Alzheimer's Now research initiatives as well as the Steamboat Pickleball Association's mission of furthering youth pickleball and steamboat. I had a chance to chat with Stop Alzheimer's Now founder and president Sean McDuffie about the event. I am here with Sean McDuffie from Stop Alzheimer's Now. How you doing, Sean? I am doing well. It's great to see you again. Likewise. I know we had an in-person visit when you were on your walk last summer. Yep. And uh, this summer, you've got a pickleball tournament that you've got going on here in Steamboat. We do. We're, uh, we're excited. We're going to be partnering uh, with actually the, the Steamboat Springs Pickleball Association. Uh, and we're holding a pickleball tournament that's uh, really kind of a local tournament and what's kind of unique or nice about this tournament is that we're a hundred percent of all registration fees are going to go to charity so uh, half of it will go to the steamboat pickleball association and it really they're focusing their efforts around getting pickleball into youth facilities in the steamboat area and then the other half of the proceeds will go to our organization, uh, which will go exclusively uh, to use for Alzheimer's research. Well, and both very, you know, near and dear to our hearts causes, right? Um, I know Steamboat Tennis and Pickleball Center is still constructing their indoor mm -hmm. uh, new courts and, and facility. Um, hopefully, you know, in future years, you'll be able to utilize that as well if this partnership continues. You bet. That's that's kind of our plan. This year was sort of a, a smaller tournament utilizing the existing outdoor courts that they have. Uh, and we're hoping in future years to uh, hold a kind of a national level tournament uh, here in Steamboat that can bring uh, a lot of people from a lot of pickleball enthusiasts from around the country into Steamboat. And if folks want to register and play in the tournament, how do they do that, Sean? 
Uh, easiest way is to go to pickleballbrackets.com. Uh, that is a national site for pickleball tournaments. And if you go to the search, uh, just put in Steamboat, hit it, and it'll bring up the Steamboat open. Uh, and you can sign up. They have varying levels uh, for skill uh, as well as age. So um, if you're you know, a newer player, uh, you can enter in and you can join me in the 3.0 tournament. Uh, if you're a more experienced player, you could be up at the 4.5 to 5.0 level. Uh, the open division, we actually have cash prizes for that. Uh, the open division, the winner uh, takes home $1,500. Uh, second place takes uh, 500. So we have an open men's, an open women's, uh, and an open mixed. Uh, there's no singles in this event. It's all doubles. Okay. And any opportunities for our youth players? There is no uh, age restriction whatsoever. Okay. Uh, so, you know, the more the merrier. Um, and uh, we hope to see everybody out. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a great social event. Uh, and it's a great chance to, to get out and get moving and, and uh, see some friends. And I actually played pickleball in college, so it is a fun game. It's, uh, you know, kind of a full mix of uh, table tennis, tennis, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a neat game. Yeah, it actually started uh, on a badminton court. That's the, the actual dimensions of a pickleball court are, are a badminton court because that's what they used when they kind of came up with the game. Okay. And using a wiffle ball as opposed to a traditional tennis ball. Correct. And they took okay. uh, ping pong paddles and they kind of adjusted them and put some rubber on them. And uh, now you have pickleball, which has kind of been the, the national craze. The mm -hmm. last mm -hmm. And the event is Saturday the 23rd and 24th or just Saturday? Uh, it is Saturday and Sunday. So yeah, I believe the okay. uh, gender doubles events are on Saturday and the mixed events are on Sunday. Okay. Outstanding. Well, Sean, I really appreciate you spending the time with us here. Um, looking forward to seeing the tournament in town and getting to see you again. And good luck with everything. And hopefully we raise a lot of money. Absolutely. Thank you, Alan. It was a pleasure. And thanks again for having me on. We are certainly looking forward to the completion of all the improvements at the Steamboat Tennis and Athletic Club, which will feature a total of 12 tennis courts, six indoor and six outdoor, and 20 pickleball courts that include the 12 inside and new pickleball facility and eight outdoor. The pickleball facility will also include a welcome center, pro shop, locker rooms, office spaces, and a multi-purpose mezzanine for viewing. That's what's going on here in Steamboat Springs. Back to you in the studio, Brittany. We love any and all Allen updates. Thank you so much, Allen, for keeping us in the know with Steamboat.